Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL 100 Game of the Week on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the New Orleans Saints. I'll be back at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from Sunday's action. But for now, it's Monday Night Football. And to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the New Orleans Saints. Seated next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, this one featuring a couple of playoff teams from a season ago, back at it again in 2019. And we both felt the confidence from both of these teams, right? They feel like they will be back in the playoffs again, but they shouldn't be overconfident. Seven teams last year made the playoffs that didn't make it to previous year, so you're not assured of going back year after year. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. Leading them out is the Austin, Texas native at quarterback. It's Baker Mayfield. Now the Auburn product, Corey Grant. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Let's get a quick look at the Saints offense. Two-time All-Pro center Jason Kelsey is one of the most athletic centers in the league. In fact, he went to the University of Cincinnati as a walk-on linebacker before converting to the offensive line. Can pull, trap, get out in front of runners in any situation. And one of the more intelligent centers in the league as well, handling all of their line calls. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. From the 34 down, here's first and 10. Mike, Mike, check, check. This is Grant. They'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38 yard line. So look now at our starting defense. Now they come into this one down at the 27th position in the league, Charles, against the run. One thing players always tell us is that they never really pay attention to numbers. I don't believe them for a second. <laughs> they know where they rank, okay? They're, they're, you know, they're not quite at the top, but they're far from the bottom. But let's face it, they want to move up. In order to do that, they've got to look at each other and make sure everyone's taking care of their assignments in order to play the run better. From the 38, Mayfield. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And that'll make it third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's Mayfield. And this is caught by Jackson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And Philip Dorsett hauls it in. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A good pick up there, 22. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 34. They run the counter. Grant. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It's a six-yard loss on the play. And it'll be a second and long. Now on second and 16, Mayfield. That's complete to his running back, Grant. 
Eighth play of his opening drive coming up. This is third down. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Murray. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. So now the Colts will get their first opportunity with the football. They'll be let out by the rookie. The sixth overall pick back in April out of Duke, and that's Daniel Jones. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously, two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. Offense. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. Ready, ready. So they will 15, tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Here's the third round pick from Memphis. It's Daryl Henderson. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two yard gain. And we look now at the offense for Indianapolis. LaShawn McCoy, yes, he deserves the spotlight. This guy is one of the most talented backs in the NFL, both receiving and rushing. In fact, over 1,000 yards six times in his NFL career. Look for LaShawn McCoy to be one of the top producers in the NFL this season. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to make it fourth down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And it was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the Colts pick it up. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And the Colts coming out now. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complementary football because, as you know, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has helped them back. So they got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system, so they can play to the standards of the defense, and the win column will result. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Throwing Jones. He completes it to Tate. Sharp move, but can't find much space. Drop just inside the 20. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Off the play fake. Jones. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. 
Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get the ball turned up. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Field goal is all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position with the six on the board. Ended up settling for three. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. The numbers for him from a week ago, 12 carries, 51 yards. Well, we know they've clinched a playoff spot, but there's plenty of football left to play. And I'm a proponent of continuing to do what you've done throughout the season, especially with teams that are heavy run teams. Because if you throttle back too early, you lose the rhythm of the run game, not just with the runner, but with the offensive line as well. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. He'll hit Jackson complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the play. Mayfield now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They run with a former Viking and Raider. It's Latavius Murray. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. On third down, Mayfield. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll be fourth down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So two first quarter field goal attempts for him, and he's converted on both. I like the positive right there. Two for two, got the points on the board. On, the negative side is they didn't score touchdowns. And of course, going forward in this game, that's going to be the aim. And hopefully, they'll be kicking extra points instead. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Jones. He finds McCoy. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third? Now Jones off the play fake. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Jackson to return. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, good thing he's getting the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 
<laughs> Super tall. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. My quick deck. 180! I got it. Tight on this side, boys. Tight on the left. Tight on the left. Move. I got it. First down, Mayfield. Oh. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. And this is caught by Evans. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. The Saints on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. From the gun, Mayfield. He's going to air one out. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. On first and ten, Jones. And Josh Hill has it. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 that time at a Colts first down. Here's Jones on first down. And it's caught. The tight end, Hill. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now Anderson on the jet sweep. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally taken down at the 34. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This is one of those plays that could go either way, but we've seen the influence of the college game now in the NFL. Where we're seeing more and more of these plays run, and that one went for a big game. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go Get on second down. That trip is here. 58 to Mike. 58 to Mike. On second and two, Jones. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Out on the field comes New Orleans. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Looking to throw on second down. Mayfield. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Mayfield. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot. But it's going to bring up fourth down. But one thing's for sure. When you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once it threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. To throw again on second down. 
Jones. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Jones now 7 of 10 here in this first half. And he's got a first and 10. This is McCoy. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. From the 41, Jones fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face match. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. From the 16, Jones. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Brady Jarrett in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. The Colts on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. Now a draw play. This is McCoy. And he does not get to the first down marker. As they stop him at the 19. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Dustin Hopkins on for the field goal. A 36-yard down. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will tie things up at 6-6. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them that they need him late in the game. His confidence should be sky high. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. On first down, Murray. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. So call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Here we go. Throwing on second down. Mayfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mike Bennett, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. Third and long for Mayfield. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Check four, check four. They'll run on first down. McCoy. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Group right, group right. On third down, here's McCoy. 
And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And it's a second down. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Mayfield now. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And now it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. This is the tight end, the Joku. And he's into the clear. The 40. He's at the 30. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So after about as long a play as humanly possible without scoring, his first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Corey Graham, his fourth touchdown on the year. As his guys are able to regain the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Oh, this is blocked. This is going the other way. Through an opening, and there he goes. He's at the 40, the 20. 10 and all the way into the end zone and that's two points following the botch pat they're set to kick this one away this is taken at his four and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 yard line The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Well, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw. Jones. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. So line of scrimmage still a 39 on second and 10. Second and 10. He's going to let one fly for Tate. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Jones now operating from the gun. This for his running back, McCoy. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Here's Jordan Berry now. He's been terrific so far. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down, and it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw, I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops, and if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the clock room. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute, but first, 
Time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin out in the Windy City of Chicago. And those two are tied up as they play the second quarter. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In the game you're watching, it's been Baker Mayfield with a strong first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two. No? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. False start. Offense. Here we go. Here we go. Not easy being a rookie left tackle in this league. And there they got him for the penalty. Not easy at all. Think about what you're dealing with every game you play. Ostensibly, the best pass rusher is over you on every snap. I'd be a little jumpy myself. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The Super Bowl 44 will always link these two teams together, the Colts and the Saints. That was a game that the Saints would win. If you remember, Sean Payton dialed up that onside kick to start the second half. Tracy Porter would eventually seal the victory for the Saints with a pick six of 74 yards. And the Manning family so heavily involved. When you think about Archie leading the Saints for 11 seasons, the Manning family being from the New Orleans area, and then Peyton being the quarterback of the Colts in that defeat to the Saints. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Defense, we got the, de we got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Defensively, that's Earl Thomas, the all-pro safety, knocking it free. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 46. And opening there on that first down run as he gets his forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. 
following the penalty. It's Murray. And able to work his way down to the 16. And it's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. They go with Murray again. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Four yards the pick up, first down. Mayfield on first down. He finds his target, it's Evans. And he is into the end zone, touchdown New Orleans. Mike Evans. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give him a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. The point after try for Goskowski. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, putting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. From the 27, Jones. And this is incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He's got his man. This is Tate. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. Jones now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Mayfield to throw it, and that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Coverage was excellent downfield. I think he was more throwing that football away than anything else. Yeah, absolutely, because everywhere he looked, they were covered. Sometimes it's better to go ahead and be convinced that there's no place to fit in the football than to go ahead and force it and turn it into a bad play. Let's go! Let's do it! 
Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Uh, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. From the 24, Jones, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Mike Daniels in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Jones to throw on third down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. That goes for a gain of 31. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Finding Green complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Throwing Jones. He completes it to Tate. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Henderson now on first and 10. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. McCoy. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Jones from the gun, he'll throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten at their own 44. They will run with Grant. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's Grant. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and 10. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. It's a game of three. Brings up third and nine. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Saints on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and ten. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no nowhere to escape and he goes down. Frank Clark in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left, roll him out, bootleg him. Do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. The yeah, current formula is not working right now. That one complete to Hill. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. 
A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. The Saints on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This will be third and five. Now Mayfield. He's got Evans. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. A first down throw for Mayfield. And his throw is incomplete. Evans once again the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Let's get it together, Let's get it together. On third down, Mayfield. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Ready, ready. Eight, three. 58, right there. Set the tone, defense. Set it. They'll start the drive with a carry by McCoy. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, Jones over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And it's third down. Ready? Now Jones. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a yard, and it's fourth. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Al Woods able to record his fifth sack of the season. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Watch the car! Watch the car! Mayfield from the gun on third down. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Al Woods in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. 
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Here's McCoy. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Looking to throw. Jones got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here at a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. Here's Jones. Throwing again on second and 10. It's Hill, complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Jones now from the gun on third down. And that's going to be intercepted by the pro bowler, Xavier Howard. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down. Went backwards. It's third and very long. Now they'll run on the draw. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times we you say, it. okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Another carry tonight for McCoy. He's been the workhorse. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Back to throw. Jones. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl corner, Darius Slay. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think, okay, he's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. 
Just like that. Just like that. Chef, chef, chef. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it Let's down to the 49. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain there of 21 yards. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Down to one knee goes Mayfield, and that's all she wrote. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was. Was. It all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for New Orleans, they continue to make their case as a Super Bowl favorite as they move to 13-1. and And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Colts, the season is really nosediving now as they fall to 2-12. and And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.